Hi, I'm re-recording my colors video in Squarespace 7.1 because they made some changes to how things work. So this video is new information as of August 2020. Thanks for joining me. So I'm here in a demo 7.1 site. I started with the Clarkson template, although you can really just choose templates based on fonts and colors, and you can even change those. So there's not really any underlying difference to the templates now, aside from their default section theme. And we'll talk about that later. So here I am in Clarkson and you can look at the different sections here. So let me click edit and you can see that this page has different sections and you'll also notice. So here's a section, here's a section, here's a section in between these little pluses. You'll also notice that this particular site header um, overlays my first section. So you have an option of setting that as transparent, which it is here or not, in which case it would just appear on its own above the image. And I'm telling you all that because when we look at colors, those colors are defined by section. So let's go into design and colors. And once I'm in this menu, you'll see here on my screen, we go into section themes, you'll see the section color. So dark and minimal for my header. And that's because when the header is transparent, it's picking up the color from this first section, which is dark minimal. We also have light minimal, white minimal, black minimal, white minimal, and dark minimal. So we've got several different color um, themes going on across these different sections. So how do you change these? Well, Every template comes with a default color palette, but it's really easy to change. So I wanted to change my default colors. I would just click edit here by color palette. And this is one of the preformed designer palettes that Clarkson uses. So if I wanted to change things, I could click on another color palette here and you could see that these button colors changed, this color changed, um, my dark color changed. So it updates it across the site, which is really nice because you can make changes here to your color palette and then globally your site is updated and it looks totally different. So I love that. It's a really um, great feature of 7.1 that saves a lot of time over 7.0 sites. But what if there's not one of these designer palettes that's for you? Well, you can do things like choose your color palette from an image. So for example, if I have an image that I want to use, I can upload it here and Squarespace will automatically pull colors from that image and put them here in my color palette. If you don't want to use an image, you can also choose from color. So select a base color like this, and then Squarespace will give you monochrome, complementary, or analogous color schemes. But what I typically do, because I'm working with a brand that has colors, is I will go to advanced and custom colors. And here's where you set those up. So if your brand typically has a light, a dark, an accent color, or multiple of those, so what you do is you set them here. Um, there's a white and a black that are standard. You can actually change these. So if you want a little bit of an off-white look, you can do that. So your backgrounds will be slightly off-white for white sections. Let's find that here. That would be this or I can move it back to white. Um, black is, you know, most of our text here, I think is this dark black, but we could change it. We could make it blue if we wanted instead of black, but I'm gonna stick with black for this one. This is my accent color. So this is typically where you'd have a pop of color for things like buttons. And we can say, let's do a bright kind of purpley fuchsia color. And then a light color, actually like this, this is the light color that's selected, and a dark color. And it, right now it's this green, but I could change it to be more of a blue, maybe a little bit lighter. So that will be my dark. And you can see how it's updated them across the site here. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't like this. I'm going to make that slightly different color. There we go. A little bit deeper. All right, so now I have my black, white, um, light, dark, and accent colors. 
And you can see how they changed across my site here. But what if I want to make some changes that are more detailed? So for example, if I have a white um, section theme here, my white minimal, and I want my button colors to not be this fuchsia color, but instead be the dark blue, how do I do that? Well, if you go into section themes, and again, you'll see the theme name here by your section, you can select the one that you wanna change. So here, if I wanna change those buttons for white minimal, I'll click the pencil icon beside white minimal. And here you can see all the colors for everything that could happen in that section. So you could change everything from the color of your site title. So for example, if this was white minimal and I was inheriting it here, it would change the site title color, navigation links, your text colors, your link colors. And there's so much here that Squarespace has made it easy. So if you want to zero in on something, you just click it here. And now it's taken us to just the thing that I'm working on, which is an image block card. And for my image block cards on white minimal, I want to make my button background my dark blue. So we'll give that a moment to take. Or you can make it a custom color if you wanted by selecting something here. But it'll catch up with us in a minute. Sometimes we're a little fast. Let me click Save. There we go. And you don't normally have to say that. I think it was just a time delay. And now we have the blue color. So you can do this for everything. So let's go back to, um, let's look at our text on the black minimal. So here is black minimal. Let me select black minimal here. And I'm gonna show all. And sometimes the quote thing just doesn't work. Um, I wanted to isolate this, but it's not letting me. So let's show all and let's choose. Um, this is probably a header medium. Yeah. So you could change the color here. You could change it to a different color. So sometimes it takes you hunting and pecking around a little bit to find the right thing that you want to change. But the beauty of it is once it's changed, it updates it across all black minimal sections. So you have a cohesive, coherent look within those section themes for your site. So the one change that Squarespace has made is that we no longer have a default section theme. So in prior versions of Squarespace 7.1, when you created a new section in your site, I'm gonna click the plus button, and let me just add a blank, it would automatically, um, it automatically defaults to your default section theme color. So this is white minimal, and we can see that here. Uh, because for this particular theme, white minimal is the default. However, and we used to be able to change this, but we can't anymore. So choose your theme, your template wisely, because I've chosen templates that have like a dark minimal um, default theme and then every time I add a section I have to change it to white minimal or light minimal or change it around. So it can be kind of a hassle but I'm hoping they bring that bring that back but in the meantime just know if you start building and you realize that you're having to change that every time and it's going to be a pretty big website you may just want to start over with a different template. So that is how we handle colors in Squarespace 7.1. Um, I did mention here that because this header is transparent, it's taking on the color underneath it. If you don't want that, you can edit the site header, go to colors, turn off transparent, and then you can set the color for your header. So you can make it light minimal if you wanted. And it's, not, it's no longer transparent and pulling from the section underneath. So I hope this was helpful. Best of luck on your website.